everybody and welcome back to the next part in my dialing in series for our Line 6 Helix. This week I'm taking a look at an artist that I previously have done a dialing in uh, video for and that is John Mayer. Uh, that initial video that I did way back, uh, I don't know, maybe a year ago or a year and a half, I don't even know when it was. Um, I just looked at it and it's got like almost 40,000 views, uh, crazy. Probably one of the highest viewed um, dialing in videos I ever did. But after that one, I've had a lot of great comments about that preset, but I've also had a lot of people ask about taking a look at some of, maybe one of John Mayer's live tones and with a little more dirt to it, rather than that sort of pristine, clean sound. So I thought that might be cool. So I was always a big fan of his John Mayer Trio album, uh, I believe it's called Try, and the lead off cut the single, uh, Who Did You Think I Was? Now there's a studio version of that, very different guitar tone on that if you go listen to it. It's much cleaner uh, Strat tone on it. I found the live one just a little more gain to it and distortion. I went with that one just because I wanted to, to kind of see if we get in the ballpark of that. Again, I'm not saying I recreated this before anybody you know goes on about that. Um, I'm just getting in the ballpark and something that would work well if we want to play in that style or that song or uh, probably other things he does on that album. It's a live album. I, I would guess he's probably gonna be in that ballpark for a lot of those tones. Um, so I'm using my JTV-89F, uh, kind of a funny guitar to be using for that, the Floyd Rose and everything. So um, just because I want to use the Strat setting on the Variax. So anybody else with a Variax, this is just the stock Strat setting on the neck pickup. Uh, if anybody wants to use that, it should get really, really close to what I have here. Um, I have no idea what John Mayer used on that album. Maybe some two rock amps. I don't know. I don't really care. I made some choices here that just worked to my ear and kind of got things close. I also have a performance video up of it. I found a drum and bass backing track. Not the best backing track in the world. Uh, but it worked just to get the point across of how this sits in the mix. So I just did a little bit of the intro and then I did uh, a, a solo. I didn't do John solo. I thought in the... In the uh, uh, nature of the, the blues is to just kind of wing things. I allowed myself one take on all of this. So I did one take on the beginning rhythm and then one take on the solo and what I got I left on there. So excuse me if there's any little, uh, little less than perfect parts there. But go check that out. You can hear how this works in the mix and I hope you guys like that. This will also be up on Custom Tone by the time the video comes up. So let's go over to HX Edit and take a look and see what we've got. So what I decided to do is go with the Line 6 Litigator amp for this and I thought it worked nicely and it comes up stock with a 112 US Deluxe cabinet so I used that. I also pushed the front end of the amp with the Air Appearance Overdrive pedal, one of the new ones from the 2.8 update. But let's start at the end. Typical settings for me, Studio Comp, LA Studio Comp, peak reduction 5.5, gain of five, that mix of 100%, that stayed roughly the same. Did a couple little EQ tricks here. Um, I went into, th this tone was very low mid-focused uh, to me. It seemed, uh, you know, it had a nice bottom end to it, but the, the low mids seemed to be really, um, prominent to my ear. Uh, so I went to 550 hertz with a Q of 2.3 and I boosted that by 6 dB. Um, and that's it. Low cut of 80 hertz, high cut of 10 kilohertz. Um, I used a fair bit of reverb on this, a room verb, trying to get that, that live sound, you know, kind of that, that ambient live, live tone. Um, so a decay of five, a pre-delay of 35 milliseconds, which is an important setting and a mix of 40%. Now, you know, you might find that you find that too much or too little, but you can adjust the mix on that or the decay to your liking. Uh, I also used my low and high shelf block here. Uh, the low uh, frequency at 220 hertz, so all the frequencies below that I dialed back by 2.5 dB. And this is interesting, all the frequencies above two kilohertz, I dialed back 9.6 dB. Um, to kind of control that high end and, and make those the, the, it more focused on those low mids, uh, like I said, I was kind of hearing. So that's the settings for that. So back to the litigator then, uh, I have the drive crank to 10. Actually on the, on the 112 US Deluxe cab, I have a 121 ribbon mic three and a half inches back. The settings on the amp, uh, drive was on 10, bass was on 7.5, mid was on eight, treble was on 5.3 and presence was on zero, channel volume was on 10. 
master on seven and I did not touch the deeper functions. Now I find that wasn't giving me quite enough drive I wanted. So I put an air apparent on with a gain of 5.5, tone of 3.5, presence of five, the clipping mode on overdrive and the gain mod normal, level at 6.2 and the voltage remained at nine volts. So that's the setting. So let's do this. Let's turn uh, the EQs, verb, all the EQs off. I'll leave the compressor on at the end. So this is just the amp settings. Um, as I just showed here. So kind of way too bright for, for what I'm going after. There was nothing kind of smooth about that. So let's bring the EQ in at the end here. Help things out quite a bit, I found, just boosting those low mids and with the low and high cuts. Let's bring the reverb in, and it sounded like this. So that gave it a little bit of that, that ambience, that live sound to it, right? Now with the low and high shelf, like I said, um, pulling a little bit of the lows out and a lot of the highs out to get rid of some of that kind of upper end graininess. Here it is. So I wanted a little more gain out of that though, but I was liking the smoothness of that. So I brought the air apparent in with the previously mentioned settings and that got us this sound. So that's it. I hope you guys like that tone. I think it worked well for that riff and the solo. But you'd also use that without the distortion on the air apparent. Almost adding more of a tone shaping thing, not so much a massive amount of distortion or anything. So nice stuff, I was really happy with that tone. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. There's some tweaks that can be made depending on the guitar you're using. If you have a Variax, it should work well. Like I said, stock Strat setting on the neck pickup, but I'm thinking it should work uh, kind of with any other 
Strat style guitar on the neck pickup and get a, a similar tone. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So go check out the performance video. I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Uh, everything was one take in it, so go easy on me. Um, using the same guitar and that tone, nothing touched in the mix afterwards as always. Just so you can kind of hear how that reverb was sitting in the mix and that kind of um, that tone shaping was sitting in the mix and it's just a drums and bass mix anyway so there's only the one guitar on top of it. Uh, I couldn't find one with vocals uh, backing track unfortunately so anyways you get an idea from that. So uh, go grab it from Custom Tone. Hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, check out my uh, Line 6 Marketplace presets uh, if you feel like grabbing something off of there. It's always much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and please like the video, share it uh, if you don't mind and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll be back soon with some more content. All right. Thanks for tuning in guys. Ciao for now.